Hey guys, welcome to my 28 week pregnancy update. Now that I'm 28 weeks, I am officially in the third trimester and I can definitely feel it. <laughs> but hey, we're on the home stretch last trimester, so it's super exciting to be at this point finally. On baby, baby is the size of a large eggplant doesn't really do much for me. Going on with baby this week, all the senses are developed and functional, so baby can hear, smell, and touch. And also the nervous system is doing new tasks and developing more. So all very important things with baby. As for me, I have been feeling baby move a ton. Of course, she is so low, I swear she kicks my cervix all the time. She, I always feel her so, so low, but I feel her all the time. She definitely lets me know that she is there. She um, kicks all the time. She gets hiccups all the time. So she's a very active baby. I feel huge. Let me show you guys my bump. Here's my bump starting third trimester. I look enormous. How am I gonna get any bigger? I still have like 10, plus weeks to go and I'm scared because I feel huge already. Like, <laughs> it looks like a torpedo coming out of my body. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel huge. I have started to use my belly band just starting this week. I just can't even sit for long periods of time without my back hurting so bad. And I was getting to the point where I was having to lay down on one side and then that wouldn't work and then I'd lay on the other side and I would still be miserable. And so I finally went and got my belly band and put it on and it has helped so much. So usually I can last the morning fine. And then usually about mid afternoon is when I have to start wearing the belly band and then I wear it until I go to bed. It's super helpful. It just helps like lift my belly and it puts pressure on my back and it helps a ton. The only bad thing about it is I, if I ever have to go to the bathroom, I have to take it off and it just takes a while to like get it on and off. But other than that, it's so helpful. So I love it. I've also got out my pregnancy pillow it's a love-hate relationship. I've been trying the past couple nights. I start off with it and then I always, I almost always end up kicking it off the bed and just using a regular pillow instead. So I'm trying to use the pregnancy pillow. So we'll see if I come around to it, but so far it really hasn't helped. My back has been in a lot of pain just cause I'm getting huge, but the belly band has been helping. I haven't really gotten any headaches. Heartburn has it, has actually been pretty manageable. I've been using Tums, but there will be a day or two while I'll go and I won't have Tums and I'll be fine. It's really just when I'm laying down in bed at night that I get the heartburn. That's usually all that I feel it. If I do feel heartburn any other time, it's just like in the, more towards like in the evening, I'll feel it. But other than that, it really, doesn't affect me. I'm definitely getting tired. If I'm active and doing a bunch of stuff, I just get so tired the rest of the day. So I have to really pace myself. I find I can't walk very fast. I waddle a lot. Earlier this week, I was having a hard time just getting a deep breath. I think as the uterus is expanding because baby is getting bigger, it's pushing on my diaphragm and I just can't like expand my lungs to get a big enough breath. I almost like had a panic attack the other morning because I just felt like I couldn't get a deep breath. And honestly, I think I was just like psyching myself out and just thinking too much about it. Cause if I distract myself and I don't think about it, it really doesn't bother me. It's just when I've been thinking about it that it, I just get in my head like I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Some days are worse than others, but I definitely can tell like it is hard for me to take a deep breath. Also, if I go like up and down stairs or any kind of light like activity, my heart is racing like I've been running a marathon. My heart races a lot lately. I don't think it's any cause for concern. I've had this symptom in my previous two pregnancies. It's just I have a lot more weight, a lot more 
blood pumping and so my heart just races faster when I'm pregnant. I have my next doctor's appointment on Monday. Today is Thursday, so a couple more days. So stay tuned for my 29 week bump date and I will tell you guys how that went. I'm gonna do the glucose, get shots, hear baby's heartbeat, all that good stuff. And then I think after that, I go, I start going every two weeks to the doctor. I think that's when they start, but I could be wrong. So definitely check back next week to hear about how that appointment went. I'm very excited to just get an update on baby. I've been feeling like pelvic soreness. <laughs> um, like I'll be sitting on the floor playing with the kids and then I'll get up from time to time, which getting up is very hard to do, as I've said in previous vlogs. But I'll get up and my pelvis region will just be so sore. I've not really ever noticed this before in any of my previous pregnancies, but yeah, it's just like super, yeah, just really sore when I'm sitting in a position for very long. I've been really gassy lately. I've been stocking up on diapers and wipes for baby girl. This week Target is doing like their diaper deal where if you buy $100 you get a 30. If you buy $100 in diapers and wipes products then you get a $30 gift card back. So it's really like you're buying $100 for the price of 70. So I've been stocking up on diapers and wipes. I'm feeling pretty good about that. My mom just gave me a bunch of more girl clothes. So this week I'm gonna go. Hey guys, sorry about that. My camera actually ended up dying as I was like mid sentence. So it's been a couple hours. I actually have my belly band on because um, my back started hurting. So I'll show you guys just how it looks with it on. Um, it just mostly supports me in the back. It comes down low, lifts the belly up. I also have a strap here that goes that can go over. Sometimes I do it, sometimes it just bugs me. So anyway, that's the belly band I was talking about. But what I was talking about when my camera died on me was that I am planning on this week to go through and stock up an inventory of all the clothes I have for baby girl. How many newborn outfits, how many zero to three, three months, six months, like, and just get us inventory. And then I'll be able to see like what I'm still need to buy more of. You forget that newborns and small infants go through clothes so fast because they're spitting up on themselves. They're having blowouts. Like you just go through a lot of outfits. So I want to make sure I have enough. I was talking to my mom when I had my second boy, I didn't have to worry about any of this stuff because I just used everything that I had for my first and just had hand-me-downs. But with this one, since it's a girl, like I need a totally new wardrobe. Now I did just yesterday go down to my crawl space and I got my bin of newborn and zero to three month clothes and I looked through all the clothes in there and I pulled out anything that was gender neutral-ish, which wasn't very much, but there were some like onesies that were kind of like lighter pattern that you could probably use for either or. So I did pull out a few outfits um, and some onesies and then like all the swaddles and stuff, like who cares if it's boy or girl? Most of them are, were gender neutral anyway. So I'm feeling good on like swaddles, my mom got me a bunch of like receiving blankets. So I'm feeling good on things like that. It's just mostly clothes that I'm stressing about. And then of course I've bought like nothing for the nursery. Um, I made a registry on Amazon and when you're 60 days out from your due date, then you are eligible for a 20% completion discount on everything on your registry. So I've been working on that and adding things to that. And I'm like 83 days out right now, so I don't, qualify for it yet, but once I'm 60 days out, I can start buying some things for the nursery. My mom really wants me to paint the walls pink. Right now, all the walls and all the bedrooms are like a gray color. My mom really wants me to paint the walls pink, and I just don't know if I really wanna do that. I'm just so over painting from having to paint our whole old house when we were putting it up for sale that I told myself I never wanted to paint again. Like if I could, I would paint like this room. Like the walls are like, it's like a gold, goldish, brownish color. It's not the best, but I just don't want to go through painting again. Now, the nursery is small, so we could do it, but I don't know. 
I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. I did also this week buy a new ceiling fan for the nursery because while the one in there is fine, it like makes a loud noise after it's been on for a while and it's just old and needs a new one. So I did get a new one for that. I'm gonna have Anthony install that sometime before the baby comes. But yes, I'm definitely into nesting mode. Um, I've just been wanting Anthony to do a bunch of projects around the house for me. It just, I really wanna bring up like all the stuff from the crawl space up, but I know there's no point because we still have like three more months to go, but it's like, I, I just want everything up to like take inventory and see what I still need. I did go and buy some postpartum supplies. I uh, included that in my vlog the other day, but I went and bought Tux. I bought some numbing spray and I went and bought a stool softener. So those are like very important postpartum supplies. The Tux are, uh, they have witch hazel on them and so they help numb and also just like they're cool, they're coolant and help reduce swelling. The spray helps numb down there because you're really sore after pushing out a baby. And then the stool softener, you're always the first poop or the first couple after you deliver, at least vaginally, is kind of hard. I don't know about C-section if, if you need a stool softener for that. I've never had a C-section, so I wouldn't know. So I am starting to build that up. I'm debating on whether I want to get like ice packs. I used an ice pack for my first. I didn't so much need them for my second. So I'm not sure if I want to do that. I already have like the Perry bottles. I know the hospital's gonna give me more of those. I need to get big pads. That's another thing I need to buy because I just have a bunch of small ones, but you, you, you really should get big ones because you're bleeding a lot the first couple weeks after you deliver. So I do need that. I need to like get my breastfeeding supplies out. Like do I need milk bags? Do I need nipple cream? Like I need to take stock of what I need. I still have time but I definitely am like stressing a little more about baby coming and being prepared. But I think that's gonna be it for this week. Um, not too much going on, just mostly my back and I'm stressing about nesting. But other than that, I'm really excited to hear baby on Monday and just get, make sure I'm still measuring on track and um, just keep this pregnancy moving along. So definitely stay tuned for my next update because I'll have all that information from the doctor for you. And we'll see how I'm doing as I slowly move through the third trimester and get closer and closer to baby coming. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.